Hi everybody, Brandon Nagaff here from Two Clicks From KO, uh, bringing you a video about Marvel Hero Clicks Fear Itself Blitz Creek USA Scenario Pack. Uh, first off, packaging, slick looking, really, really like it. Vibrant colors, solid presentation. Uh, you can see it comes with uh, a list of features here in the back. It's kind of hard to show everyone with the angle I have the camera at, but you know, your two figures, your 3D object, the dice. Snare rules, your tokens, and the, the two maps. Now, uh, right here you have the first figure. It's a pretty good size, Scatty. Pretty good size figure. There. A really nice sculpt, too. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be when looking at it online. Uh, same thing when it goes with the dice. The dice are pretty good size, too. Much bigger than the dice we normally get in the uh, Fast Forces or Starter sets. Got that nice Fear Itself emblem there. And moving down, we got the 3D object, the hammer with its base, it attaches from its base. And then uh, you have a good old little Bucky there playing Captain America. Let's go ahead and uh, open this up. Let's see what we have. Uh, try to handle this with grace and dignity. I want to make a mess. Exactly easy just to slide right out. There we go. Now it's cooperating. Has a nice little carrying case about its package. You got our Captain America character card there. You can see the map. So you got some more tape to uh, back open here. You can see the cord tokens there in the back. Set this down. Let's hold it out. Ah, there we are. Pop this map out here. Oh, more tape. Just hiding. And another little strip at the bottom. Can't make it too easy on us. Alright, set that to the side for now. We'll pull these hoard tokens out. Set those at the side for now. Let's uh, get to the cool stuff first the sculpts. Got Captain America here. For those who haven't seen the spoiler, he, uh, he's got some pretty neat abilities, but we'll just glance over. So he's got charge, super strength, vulnerability, leadership. Keeps that for a while. Got some toughness. Sorry for the image, is kind of blurry. Yeah, running shot there towards the end of his dial. Some close combat expert, which is great under the new 2013 pack rules. Yeah, not bad. Uh, it takes eight clicks to take down this 88 point fig. Not too bad, especially considering some damage reducers to start. Not a bad fake for 88 points. Um, special ability here that he gets uh, friendly adjacent characters modify their defense values by plus one. If not already modified by this effect, if there are less points than Captain America, they may be within three squares instead of adjacent. Not exactly um, setting the world on fire with that, but not, not a bad option for uh, modifying some defense with some cheaper, uh, if you're doing a swarm army especially. Pretty neat fig. Let's see, we're just gonna open this up. Because in hindsight, I would like to have this ready for whenever I pull, pull out Scatty here so we can see her special abilities. There's the resource token for the hammer, the resource card there. Sorry, relic. Yeah. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at this hammer here. There's its base. You can see its point value. It says eight. Yeah, it's blurry for you guys watching this at home. I apologize. Uh, but it does rest in there. Uh, looks like put in like so. I don't know. Oops, thing is going crazy on me. Just like that. There it is. Resting in its base. Stay in there and shake it. That's good. You don't exactly hear a snap when it goes in, but it, it sits in there pretty tight. And, uh, got the dice here. That's interesting to notice they don't have the the curved edges like the ones we get in starter sets, but they're pretty slick. I really like them. I'm going to play a game tonight. A few games tonight. I'll give you a test run. Let's hope I don't roll nothing but fours and fives. 
Let's pull up the big gun here, Scatty. Yeah, it's an, I like that sculpt a lot. I'm a huge fan of that. Uh, 200 points, 150 points. You're looking at Impervious right off the bat. Impervious, Quake, Flurry. That's just... With 12 attack, 4 damage, Flurry, ouch. Uh, no movement attack, but if you can find a way to TK or mind control an opponent, you can figure in or her. It's pretty much a uh, good night, Irene. Yeah, got some poison there. More poison with a special movement ability. Let's see what that says here. You got uh, uh, the revert. I don't know if you guys have followed it, but you can uh, give her a free action and make her sin. Any any character named Sin, which is neat because it doesn't specify which one. No, no, uh, no series number that you have to revert her to. Um, it's really neat. She has... Uh, yeah, I'm going to take that back. She actually has charge. She does have a move and attack, for those of you who uh, called me a moron for not noticing that when I first talked about her dial. Her trait, uh, Scotty can use charge to exploit weakness. When she's KO'd, you may replace her with Scotty's hammer in the square. And friendly characters increase the roll to pick it up by plus two this game. So yeah, man, move and attack with flurry to 12 attack value and four damage is just ridiculously scary. That's... Maybe not in a 300 point game unless you have some really, you know, pretty decent support to uh, back her up. But she can, um, she can ruin people's days. Not a bad fig at all. Her towards the end of her life, there, ten clicks to take her out. She goes, drops down to nine attack value, gets regen towards the end. Her defense bottoms out at a 16, but you're looking at 18s and 17s. Um, mostly 18s for most of her dial. Actually, well, I guess it's a three-way tie. Not too bad. Map here, looks like it's going to be kind of hard to pull this map out, considered the uh, tight space I have here. But we can look here at the Horde tokens. And uh, I wasn't around for the Lord of the Rings set. And this is my first set of Horde tokens, so I can't wait to get in there and play with them a little bit. You can see here we have uh, Army Private, Navy Seaman. You can make your jokes later if you guys want to. Um, not too shabby, you know. They're pretty much one hitter quitters. And Air Force, Airmen, Deputy Police, some war bots. Um, you know, photographer, you know, in case paparazzi's getting nosy. Businesswoman, salesman. Yeah, pretty. It's pretty slick. Like I'm looking forward to playing the uh, the scenario with me and a buddy, and I'm also looking forward to the solo player rules significantly. You know, I'm gonna get my hero clicks on by myself. I know how lonely that sounds. And the map here, the map's gonna be really hard for me to pull off. We'll uh, we'll see what I can do here. Well, see, there's the campaign rules. Here it's so, Let's go, USA. Campaign prologue, the book with the skull. Yeah. Let's see, yep, there's solo play there at the very at the very bottom, tells you what to do. Yeah, it looks pretty neat. Nice bold lettering. Yeah, it looks like there's actually a five different campaigns you can play here, which is pretty pretty cool. Um Give you a little setup too. For example, uh, for the prologue here, the very very top, it says, "Sin and Baron Zemo attempt to locate one of the Red Skull's lost artifacts. First, they must break into an abandoned base to locate the Book of the Skull, which contains an artifact secret location. And it breaks you down of uh, what the what map you have to use, any indoor map, right there at the top. Then a uh, build total, 250 points. Yeah, pretty cool." Well, here it is all laid out for you. We got the board tokens in the back. There's going to be a grand total of 48 of those. As we mentioned earlier, the dice you got Scatty, Captain America, Hammer with his base. Again, the leather little dice. Scatty card, Captain America card, Relic card, and then your uh, campaign rules. So um, give us a look at twoclicksfromko.com. You'll see the link in the, the notes for this video. And uh, thank you for watching.